Uh, my name is uh, Diego García Sayan. I am actually president of the Inter-American Court of Human Rights. I have been honored with a wise version of human rights uh, this year. I am very glad to be here in Beloit because it's a, a fantastic opportunity to share experiences with the faculty here at the university and as well with students. I have been visiting uh, different student groups, different classes. I have had a, a meeting with um, most uh, faculty members and receive different approaches because each, each class has uh, different matter, different groups. In these uh, few days uh, I've been having a fantastic experience in uh, dialogues with uh, faculty members, uh, with students. I am really very positively surprised with the uh, very active uh, role of the students have in these dialogues. Of course they make questions but as well they have their own point of view and they even have uh, some uh, criticism regarding some of the essays uh, I have presented uh, to be circulated in, in these days. The lecture I will present at Eton Chapel uh, Friday evening, I will refer uh, to the major trends that uh, have been occurring in Latin America in the last uh, decades, especially in the last uh, 10 years. It raises uh, aspects that concern apparently mainly only Latin America because of the major challenges uh, that uh, Latin America faces right now regarding its democracy, its social development. But in many aspects, these are common concerns between Latin America and the United States. Uh, so to mention some economical, social and especially uh, aspects that have to do with human rights and democracy. Uh, my balance is a quite uh, optimistic one. I, my feeling is that in the last years, we have taken many steps forward in Latin America to guarantee a sustained evolution in this same democratic sense.